Hello everyone, I'm Melissa here. Welcome to your Melissa moment and welcome to Toss It Tuesday. We're still in our Blair Witch basement trying to get the gym put together. We're not quite there, but we're getting close. Uh, last week you saw me trying to install the floor. I ran into some difficulties at the end there. I don't know. The pieces were not fitting together. I was getting frustrated. I was like, am I going to have to take these back? Like, is there a manufacturing issue? I don't know. Um, I took a break. I took a break. I came back and I was able to get the floor put together. I don't know what the problem was, guys. Sometimes you just need to walk away for a bit uh, and come back. And that's what I did. So the flooring is now in. I'm good. It's you guys. It's so hard to show you a full like picture of everything. I'm going to try to show you with the laptop what it looks like now. Um, we still have the organizers in the gym space just because there's nowhere for them to go right now. Um, but they will not be there once the gym is fully functional. Um, but I'm leaving them there for now. Um, so let me kind of show you, and obviously the gym equipment is not put where it needs to go, um, but I'll kind of show you. Okay, don't worry about around the gym. It's a disaster, but we'll get to it one day at a time. So let's just start, okay? The lighting, sorry guys, the lighting, I know, the lighting. Okay, here we are. So obviously this chair is not going to be here forever. It's just for this video. Um, and those organizers back there, they will also not be there. But you guys, I've got the floor in. The floor is in. I did just use these kids tiles on the side um, because the big tiles, they're too big. And I don't have enough space to put another row. So I just put a little bit of kid tile there. We'll see. I might take it down. I don't know. But we've got the flooring in. I don't know, you guys. I'm sorry. The video. Let me see if I can. So the flooring's in, okay? We've got um, the bench set up, okay? Over here, we have the rower set up. Like I said, don't mind that mess behind the, the, that uh, wooden frame. You guys, it's a disaster. Uh, let me set you down for a minute, okay? Let me set you down and adjust you, okay, as best as we can. Um, okay. Hi, <laughs> thanks for joining me. Uh, so we've got weights everywhere still. It's not 100% set up. But today, what we're doing, we're putting the cart together. This is the little, uh, what they call a yoga uh, cart to put all of your gym stuff. So we're going to put this together. Uh, it's probably going to go on the side here. I still need to bring down the dumbbells. I still need to bring down the punching bag. There's a lot of stuff to still come down into this area. Um, but for now, we're putting this together today, okay? And that's all we're doing here today. Uh, and then eventually these organizers will get moved out. The dumbbells will come down. The punching bag will come down. All of the equipment will be set up. We will put everything on the cart. And then the gym should be fairly functional. But let's start here. Now I did open the box, but I haven't read the instructions, so I might have to take a, a little pause to get tools if they didn't include tools that I need. I don't know. Um, but let's let's see what's in here, you guys. Let's see. Oh my god. Okay, how am I gonna get this out? Okay, let's let's just see what we can do. Oh, you know what? I can already tell I have to pause because there's zip ties and I didn't bring scissors down. But that's fine. Let's just try to take it out and see what we're dealing with. Okay. There's a lot of things here. So we've got a couple of these. Let's just set these here. We've got some poles. That's all zip tied together. Okay. Here's our little tray. You guys, this cart, this looks smaller than I thought. I might have too much equipment for this, but we'll see. I don't know. Here's another one of these. Okay. Here's instructions. I mean, it looks fairly decent, but I don't know. In real life, it looks kind of small. That's okay. We'll figure it out. Um, 
my thing logic. Of course, there is no words, only pictures. They have given me an Allen wrench. I don't think I need any other tools, you guys, but I definitely will need some scissors to cut these zip ties. So, let's make sure there's nothing left in the box. No, it's empty. Oh, just cardboard. Okay. Okay. Let me go grab some scissors, get rid of this box, and we'll come back and we will try to put this together. We'll see how difficult this is going to be. I don't think it will be bad, but I'll be right back. Okay. <sighs> Let's get to it. Cut the zip tie. There's one. Here's our feet and the Allen wrench. Okay, so it is on wheels, which is nice. Okay, these are washers. Ooh, a whole lot of hardware, guys. Lots of bolts, which I guess is a good thing, right? You want it to be sturdy. These are like little hooks for resistance bands and things. Two little hooks. I'm just going to open this bag carefully so we don't lose anything, but we can have access to it. Okay. We've got more pieces, more pieces, more pieces, and the sides. Okay. Shouldn't be too bad. Um, I'm going to... I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get rid of the chair. I'm going to sit on the ground. I'm going to lower you guys so you can get a good view of everything I'm doing. Uh, let me just go over the pieces to make sure we have everything. Two sides, one of those, three of those, five of those, one of those, one of those, one right, one left, one of those, two of those. They're down there. Yep, two of those, two of those, and then bolts. Two, two, two. Yeah, I'm going to say everything's here. Okay, let me get rid of this chair. Let me move you without breaking my neck. I'm just going to put it on this side. Okay. I'm going to move you guys down so you can see. me, but you probably don't want to anyway. Okay, that's fine. Oh, there we go. Oh. oh, I'm so glad I put this floor down, you guys, because it's dirty and dingy down here, and it's just nice. Like, this floor feels clean, and it, I'm like, I feel comfortable sitting on this, on this gym floor. I do not feel comfortable sitting on the floor floor, so this is kind of nice. Okay, let's hope this is easy. Step one, how many steps are there? There are seven steps. It doesn't sound bad, right? Step one, okay, we've got the two legs. What's interesting, where did they put the feet? I always think you should, they never put the feet on first, and I'm like, wouldn't it make more sense to put the feet on first? Like, what's the point of not putting the feet on first? I think I'm going to put the feet on first. I'm going to go against what they're saying because they're saying put the, the feet on step two, but then you, it's awkward. No, I'm going to do it now. I'm going to go against the rules. You guys, this doesn't happen often. Okay. Let's just have a quick look at these and make sure they're the same on both sides so that we don't accidentally put the wrong way round. Cause I've done that before when I set things up. Um, okay, so we have 
M on the front and N on the back. So if you look at the wheels, they will be different. Okay, I don't know if you can tell. You've got these two and then these two. These have the little locking mechanism. They want the locking mechanism on the back of the cart. So we got to make sure that those go on the back, okay, of the cart. And you also want to make sure, yes, so back and back, front and front, perfect. And now we are using two different types of washers. Okay. Fancy. Let me just dump these out real quick. So we need a washer, a washer. So it looks like this is the only place where the washers are going to be used. They've also included one extra washer of each in case you lose one. So we probably won't need those. I'm just going to stick them up here and get rid of it. And then we're going to find our Allen key, which we have, and we're going to put these on. Now, if you guys are watching this right now and you're like, no, don't put the feet on yet. Tell me in the comments why. Tell me why we wouldn't put the feet on first. I mean, I'm sure there's a reason. I can't think of one. So if you guys know the reason, tell me. I would love to know what it is. I really would. Um, okay, so we're going to put the little washer and then the bigger washer, and then we're going to stick this back here, and we're just going to screw it in as much as we can, and then we're going to have to use the Allen key once we can't do it anymore. just to make sure we get it super, super tight. Okay, we're gonna take the Allen key now and just tighten it more because the tool obviously will get it tighter. Now you want it snug, but not like super snug. You know what I mean? Not super, super snug. So the locking one is on the back and we're putting the non-locking one on the front. Again, just start by putting it in with your fingers until it's getting too hard. And then you're going to grab that Allen key. You know, usually I do a drinking game when I put things together. Like how many times am I going to drop the Allen key or lose the Allen key because it happens a lot. You guys, I'm not going to lie. It's like when you're wrapping presents and it's like you lose the tape or the scissors. You know what I mean? Okay. So those wheels are on. Let's grab the next one. Put your washer, another washer. This locking mechanism goes on the back, making sure we're doing it right. Okay. Now the nice thing is this is a metal cart. So of course all the holes are pre-drilled. You don't have to worry about any of that. The only issue you might run into is sometimes the metal is bent or warped, which means the, uh, the, uh, Things don't want to screw in straight. I've had that happen before. Let's hope it doesn't happen this time because that can be a real pain in the butt. Um, it really can be frustrating. So let's hope I didn't just jinx myself and let's hope this goes together super quick and easy. And uh, we have a really nice little organizational card here. Now, like I said, sometimes if you're feeling overwhelmed, Sometimes you just need to figure out what will help you get your space organized. 
It might mean you need to like get something like this. It might mean you need to just buy some baskets or things. Um, and you know, the dollar store, Dollarama, they, they've got some really nice stuff now. So you don't necessarily need to spend a fortune on things, but my suggestion is really figure out what is going to work for you long-term as far as organizational goes. Think about things like I'm in the basement. We have had flooding down here in the past. It's been years, but it does happen. So probably using things like Rubbermaid totes, plastic organizers, that's probably going to do us better in the long run than cardboard, for example, right? So you really got to think about those things because you don't want to like invest in something and then realize, oh, this isn't going to work for me long term. And then you got to spend more money. Um, if you have to spend a little more money up front in the long run, it might actually be better than having to repurchase things. So keep that in mind when you're trying to organize. Okay, let's jump back to step one now since I skipped that. Now, what they wanted to do was to put in the base, which is this, and I'm trying to see, do they have it up or down? Sometimes pictures are really hard, you guys. They've got it up like this. Okay, so we're going to go like that, and we are going to need four bolts. There's no washers involved in this at all. All these bolts are the same length and width, so that's good. Um, and then we actually are gonna put this, this little basket on the side as well. And it looks like on that side, the bolt goes through the basket and then through. So we're not doing extra bolts. So this goes on this side. So let's start there. Um, you'll notice, as you can see, there's little spots here for your bolts to go. So that's what's going to go through. Your bolt is going to go through here. And then we're going to go through the hole down. Is it this one? No. Is it that low? Yeah, it is. We're going to go through the little uh, bolt holes here. Get it in straight. And then we're going to put that on and then we're going to have to, uh Oh, you guys, we do need a screwdriver. They did not include a screwdriver and we do need one. I'm going to have to go get one. Sorry for the delay. You guys, I should have looked at that ahead of time, but okay. I'll be right back. Fun takes a Phillips screwdriver. That's the one that looks like a little kind of like a little star almost like, I don't know, a cross, I guess, a cross, an X, whatever. Uh, there's also Robertson screwdrivers, which are square. Um, but this is the one we're using for today. So let's go back to this step. Oh, I already have a screw in there. Okay. Okay. So through the back. Now, this is going to get a little awkward. I'm not going to lie. So sometimes having an extra set of hands, so you don't hit yourself in the head, uh, is beneficial. However, I have been putting furniture together by myself for years. Um, I kind of prefer it that way, but I'm not going to lie. It can get a little awkward. Um, don't worry. We've been doing this for a while. We can figure this out. You just want to get it started. And then it gets easier. Trust me. Mm. But yeah, if you have an extra set of hands, take advantage of it. You know, we don't have to all be like me. But if you are a single person on your own, I just want you to know that it is possible to do this stuff on your own. It is possible. It might take you a little more time. It might take a little bit more, you know, figuring things out, but it's possible and you can do it. 
Everything's possible, you guys. Everything, everything. Take your time, tighten things up, get it in there. Once you get this frame put together, it'll be a lot easier. I think <laughs> I say that, but who knows? Who knows, you guys? Who knows? Okay. Again, make sure things are snug, especially if you're putting heavy equipment on here. You want things to be nice and snug. Okay. Oh, one side done. Now, I assume we're just doing the same on the other side. Yes, we are. I thought we took out four bolts, but now they're missing. That's fine. It's fine, you guys. This side, we don't have that little uh, shelf on the outside, so we're going right through. Again, make sure your sides are the same way. So you're not putting it on wrong because that has happened before. You guys, there's been many times that I have had to take things apart because I did something wrong. So if that's you, don't worry about it. It happened. It does happen. And if you guys don't usually put furniture together and you get frustrated easily, take breaks. It's okay. Do a step and then go take a break. Come back to it later. You don't have to do it all in one go. But if you'd rather do that, then that's fine. I'm the kind of person that once I start a project, I have to finish it. It's really hard for me to leave it unfinished. However, if I am getting really frustrated, like with this flooring, I do take a break. I do walk away and come back later. And sometimes that's all it takes, honestly, to figure it out. That's exactly what happened with this flooring. It was like, okay, I don't know what the problem is. I was so frustrated. I was like, I'm just going to come back later. And for whatever reason, it went together perfectly when I came back. I don't know what it was. But, so that's okay, you guys. It's okay to do that. Okay. Step one. Guys, I think we're done. Step one. I'm going to tighten this just a couple more here. Just make sure it's nice and secure. Perfect. Ooh, it rolls nice too, you guys. Look at that. Okay. Yay, step one's done. Um, okay, yes, we did that. Boom. Step two, guess what? We did it. It's just the feet. I don't see why we would have done the feet now. Like, I don't see a pro or con to I kind of either way. I mean, I don't know. It doesn't matter. We're moving on to step three. Let's go. Step three's got a lot to it. Wow, there's a lot here. Okay, so according to this, we need two of these. Okay, first, we need this piece. This is going to go on the same side as the basket, um, like this. Okay, so that's going to go like that. 
Then we need two of these. Now I just want to make, I think these are all exactly the same. I just want to make sure they look the same. There's three of them, but they look the same. So two of these, and that's going to go here. And then we also need these red hooks. There we go. Which are going to go on this side. So that's fun. So let's put those red hooks there for a minute. Because I think the red hooks will be, oh no, it, we have to do it in the same go. Okay. Okay. Let's start on this side because it seems like it'll be fine. So we need four bolts, you guys, four, four bolts. Interesting. Okay. One, two, three, and four. So we're just going to start with the two. So like I said, this little piece is going to go the next set of holes. It's going to go through here. And then, so the bolt will go through here go through the frame and then it's going to go through the ends of these and then on the other side we're doing more bolts. So there's a lot of bolts and a lot of pieces. So just make sure you're doing them all properly. Okay, so we're going to stick these through here. I'm going to try to do both at the same time, but it may not work. We'll find out. Okay, so we've got those. Now we're going to take this. Now make sure you do this properly because the great system, you can tell which is the top and which is the bottom. The top has the long um, pieces on top, if that makes any sense. The bottom has got the short pieces on the top. So you want the long pieces this way. I don't know if that makes any sense to you. Um, and then there's actually two more bolts that go here. One and two, because we're putting two of these. We're going to put one here and one here. Now here's, a, I'm going to run into a problem. You want to know why? They always do instructions this way, and I don't know why. Here's the problem, you guys. If it was me, I would have left one of the side pieces off to the very end, because now we're going to have to try to fit these in this space. They do it every time, and I don't know why. But we're going to try to make this work. We're going to try, you guys. I don't know why they always do it this way, but they do. So we're just going to start by finger tightening this just to get it in. We might be okay. We might be okay. I don't know why they always do this. You know what I mean? It's fine. We'll make it work. We might have to loosen the one side a little, but either way, we'll make it work. Okay, screwdriver. Here we go. I am not left-handed, although I'm doing this left-handed. Let's be smart about it and not do it left-handed if I'm not left-handed, because it'll go a lot faster if I use the right hand. Okay. Did you guys think we were going to put furniture together today? Well, you probably did because I mentioned it in the last video, but still. Right? Still. Fun. I actually don't mind putting furniture together. I guess it depends what it is. I shouldn't say, I shouldn't say like I love it, but depending on what it is, I don't mind. Um, 
I like organizational things, so I tend to like this stuff a lot because it helps helps me clean spaces, and I, I enjoy having clean spaces. Let's see, this is what I'm saying here. Okay, we're gonna run into a problem. It's okay, we'll figure it out. How are you guys doing with your Toss It Tuesdays? Are you guys able to organize some things in your house? Are you able to use any of the tips I've given? Let me know. And if you guys have any tips, let me know. Because I definitely could use some tips. I don't know everything, that's for darn sure. There we go. Okay, now what's interesting is the picture is different. So in the picture, in the instructions, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it. They make it look, you probably can't see it. They make it look like these two pieces are like up right beside each other. But in reality, there's a bit of a gap. There's like an almost an inch gap in between. Which, I mean, I don't think it's a big deal. I'm just saying. It looks different. Okay, now, um, this side does not have anything. Um, oh, I lied. It does have something. Ooh, don't get ahead of yourself. Okay, so we have the one side on. Now, this side, we're putting... Um, <laughs> we're putting these guys. Okay? Uh, and according to this, it goes this way. So, that goes there, that goes there. The, what? Okay, they go here. So this side does not have any. This can go right through the frame into the shell. I'm gonna line it up. And it's the back piece where we have to put the bolt through. So let's do the front one first, since it's a straight through shot. See if we can. Get these in. This is the hard part is trying to line up the threads. So it actually screws in. This is the hard part, you guys. No, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. Doesn't seem like it's getting purchased yet. Oh, I hate this part when you're like going in blind. Because if it's not in perfectly straight, see? It's got to go in perfectly straight. Otherwise, it's not going to go. Do we finally have it? luck out. Oh, I think we got this one. Yes. Oh, man. It's so frustrating when it doesn't go in straight. Okay. And usually if you can get the first one, it helps you get the other one in straight. So usually just starting with one is good. Now let's see if we can get this one to get purchase. It's got to be straight, you guys. Otherwise we're going to have a problem. We have it. I think we do. You guys, I think we have it. Yes. See? Yes. Okay. Now the back one. Um, we're gonna put up here bolts first. Oh, hang on. No, it doesn't want us to put bolts up there yet. Okay, we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna put bolts on the bottom. Perfect. Bolts on the bottom. Now, to try to get this in straight, it's going to be even harder because this thing's going to turn on me. I also need this to go. Do we have it? I don't know if we do. I don't think so. Can't tell. I think. 
know, guys. I don't know. I think it's good. Let's see. Okay. I'm going to line this up. We're not putting the top screw in yet, but you want to line it up because you're going to tighten the bottom and you want it to be straight. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now we're going to grab the other one. We're going to go through this piece. And then we're going to go through the frame into the shelf. together pretty easy. I hope I'm not messing myself right now by saying that. I hope I'm not. But I'm pretty happy with the progress. Okay, now that I said that, I feel like I'm having an issue. No, I think we're good. I think it was just me. Are we good? Are we good? No, we're not good, you guys. We don't have purchase yet. Nope. Darn it. Okay. No worries. I jinxed myself. It's okay. We'll figure it out. And we'll figure it out. Take a deep breath. Don't get frustrated yet. We're not jinxed yet. We just need to get purchased. Get the right angle. And then we'll be golden. I think you got it. Make sure you're lining up the top while you tighten so you don't run into a problem. I think we're okay. Do we have purchase in there now? I don't know. Nope. It's okay. Don't worry. We're going to turn it a little bit. We're going to pull it apart a bit and see if we can line it up better. while you do this so we don't run into a situation later. We'll be okay. Okay. You guys, we're good. Tighten it. Okay. So we've got these on now. You don't have them bolted at the top yet because that's not part of this step. But it's coming together. Okay, so that was step three. Good. Moving on to step four. You guys were halfway there. Okay, step four. Oh, okay, we're putting poles in. Okay, so two short poles. Two short poles. They're going to go on this side. Turn you around. 
turn you around. It's fine. It's fine. Turn you around. Come on. That's okay. These are going to go here as support. One through the bottom, one through the top. So let's do the bottom first. And just start tightening it with your fingers to get it in there. Again, you're going to have to turn this cart over to tighten it, I think. So let's just do the best we can here with our fingers. And then we're going to have to flip this baby over at some point. Tighten it from the bottom. red piece is causing me problems. <sighs> We're doing all right. time after this, I think. What time is it? Oh, it's 11 and 20 already. Okay. No problem. No problem. Got company coming this afternoon, so we gotta get this done so I can go have lunch and get ready. Get ready to go. It's supposed to be hot here today, so we're doing another pool day. We're getting close to the end of the pool season, so we got to get in the days we can when it's hot. You know what I mean? Okay. Now, I'm just going to just see if I can do one of these. I don't want to flip it all the way over. I just kind of want to get in here and tighten it if I can. step four, you guys. Step five, uh, now we're putting this last rack on the front. So it goes on this side. <sighs> okay. So we are going to, oh, One goes in the middle and one goes at the back. Okay, we're good. I thought I missed a step, but we're good. We're good. So we're going to start by putting this piece on the front and we're just going to do more of the bolts. Again, make sure you've got the long pieces on the top. If that makes any sense. Okay. Now 
speed this up a little bit here, I think. Try to go faster, because i got to get this done, you guys. got to get this done. That one does not want to go in straight, so that's fine. Lots of bolts, lots of bolts. Oh, this one, you guys, this is going to be a problem here. I can feel it. This one does not want to go in. Ooh, that's going to be a big problem. Remember how I said sometimes the metal is warped or bent and it causes issues? I think we've come across our first issue with that situation. And it's quite common when it comes to metal things like this. Unfortunately, it's quite common. Let's see what we can do about it. This may or may not work. So what that means is if I feel like we don't necessarily need a bolt on this side, if I cannot get it to work, we may leave it off because I don't want to have to fight to get it in. Sometimes you can like maneuver it where you need it to be, and sometimes you can't. So we'll see what we can do here. It can only go about there and then it gets tight. So we may not be able to. I can only get it in about halfway. So we're gonna try just one more time. See if we can get it to line up. And if we can't, we're not going to worry about it. You can also try a different bolt. Sometimes it's the bolt that's the problem. Not often, but sometimes. I don't think this is going to work, you guys. And I could kind of tell the one piece does look a little bent, so it may not work. Let's just see. I'm going to try to pull on it as I screw and see if we can get it in. Yeah, it only goes, it only goes like halfway and then we run into a situation, so... Yeah. Okay. We're going to leave it for now. We're going to leave it for now. I'm not worried about it. Um, then we have this piece goes here. bolt on this side. I want to get this metal piece. Oh, you guys. See what I mean? I don't know why they put both sides on. Because when you got to get this in, it doesn't want to go. So we might have to loosen one side to be able to get this in. We're gonna, to, we're gonna have to figure it out. I don't know. Okay. 
sometimes just gently hammering it. <laughs> Rubber mallets are great. We have so many. They do come in handy, I'm not going to lie. Uh, okay, finally got that one in. So we've got that one bolt that's got an issue, but I'm not too worried about it. Okay, where were we? So we did that, we did that, we did that, we did that, we did that. Now we're going to put another one, and then we're going to put another one. Okay. This is going to be difficult. We've got here and here. Okay. Two more bolts. One on either side. Okay. Again, just start tightening with your fingers to get it in. You can actually tighten quite a bit. Come on this side. Same thing. Another one at the back here. Same thing. Uh oh. There we go. Okay, this is a pretty decent size. It did not look this big when I had all the pieces there, but it actually turned out to be kind of more of what I was thinking from the picture. So I'm happy with the size of this. I am definitely happy. I think this will be a good, come on, a good size to put all of our stuff in. So far, not bad. Just problems with that one bolt. Which again, we're going to try to do it one more time, I think. I just wanted to get this part done. Uh, okay, so we've got that in. We've got that in. We've got that in. We've got that in. I think this is it for step five, you guys. We've got two steps left. Uh, perfect. Those two... So we have this piece, which is going to go on that side at the top. And then we have these two bars, which is going to go on the top. Let me just try this one. I'm going to take this bolt out and try one other bolt just to see. But honestly, I don't think we're going to need it. Um, because it's pretty... I think it's pretty secure without it. So we'll just try one more time. See what happens. No, it just wants to go in crooked, you guys. I don't know what the problem is. Oh, hang on. <gasps> you guys, hang on. I think this is working. Okay, yay, it's working. Okay, so see, sometimes you just got to change out your bolt. Perfect. It works perfectly. We got it. Yes, we got it. Okay, moving on, you guys. So we've got on this side, these red things, okay? So we're going to go, the bolt is going to go through here, and then it's going to go through here, maybe, <laughs> line it up, and then it's going to go through here. Okay. 
start with our fingers a little. Grab the screwdriver. Perfect. Tighten it up. Other bolts, same thing. Go through here, go through here. Maybe. And then go through this pole. Perfect. Screwdriver. Tighten it up. Perfect. Perfect. And obviously we need two more bolts on this side, but we're also going to stick this little piece on this side. So we're going to go through here and then through here and then through the pole. Hang on guys, I gotta get my screwdrivers here, which means I gotta turn it. Because again, right-handed. nice when things work out you guys it is a nice feeling nice feeling you guys okay nice that was step six we have got that done step seven you guys step seven so we have why do we have so many bolts left over you guys interesting we have got one two three, four, five, six bolts left over. Don't ask me why. Um, oh, I think we need two. Do we need two? I don't think we do. Hold on. Where does it go? Nope. Nope. I don't know. We've got bolts left over guys. I followed the instructions. I have no idea. Um, so the only thing left is these little hooks and it looks like they literally uh, they just go here they just slip on right like that little hooks like that so here's our cart can you see it in all of its glory it's pretty decent it's pretty decent you guys i'm pretty happy with that um, so we have, we can do a few things here. Let's see. Oh, there was my foam roller. My foam roller, you guys, hang on. I got to grab it. That's literally what I was trying to grab. Okay. So we have our foam roller, which goes back here. Look at that. <gasps> you guys, it goes right there. Um, we have this yoga mat. I don't know where we're going to stick that. Like, I guess we can just stick it here. I don't know. So this is kind of just trying to figure things out on how you want to place things in here, where you want to place things in here. I don't know. We have like this thing, which I mean, we can put that there maybe. Um, we can maybe, let's see, what do they have? Oh, they also have a foam roller on the side over here. So we can maybe just stick this over here in the side. Oh, no, it doesn't want to go there. What if we fold it we put that there maybe um what else do we have here let's 
see. Let me clean up real quick. Give me a second. I've got... I do have more equipment. I just, uh, it's still packed away, but we've got, this is, I can put that over there. That's for, um, a foam piece to put on your barbell. I've got, these are resistance straps. Let's take these out. So we've got, you know, our big resistance straps. They can come over here and like go over here. Uh, we've got the little, little guys here. They can go here, take them out. Look, they're still in their original packaging, you guys. Isn't that fun? So, different resistance straps. These ones I don't like as much. I like the fabric ones better. I do have fabric ones, don't worry. Um, but for now, these can go here. And we've got garbage. We've got some, uh, these are Matthew's gloves. So I'm just going to stick those there for now. Uh, we have got, in here, I have got my uh, hand wrap and boxing gloves. So we're just going to leave these on here. I don't know. I guess we'll just, maybe we'll stick those here. My boxing gloves can go right there. And then we can put this resistance strap over here or up there. So we've got, we've got some things on here. I do have more. I have like kettlebells and other things. So we've got lots of stuff. And I think we're going to leave this. I'm trying to decide if I want to put the cart on this side and then the dumbbells or vice versa. I think I'm going to put the dumbbells over there, which means the cart is going to go over here. And for now, we're just going to stick it here because these organizers will be gone eventually. Um, but I think that's perfect because there's just enough room there for the dumbbells. And then we've got the cart. So I'm pretty happy with that, you guys. I'll leave this here for now, too. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, and then we've got our stepper and stuff. And the stepper can probably go over here as well. I'm not even sure if we want to. Maybe we'll put the, will the stepper fit here. Hang on. Hang on, guys. What if we do that? See, I'm already busy organizing. Um, we can put you down here. Then that can go there. And then we have this stepper. We got weights, too. But I wonder if it'll fit there. I can take these pieces off. Oh, you guys, we can put the stepper here. And then we have the extra pieces for the stepper can go down here. I wonder if they'll even go, maybe even, maybe I can, where's the other one? Am I missing a piece of the stepper? Okay, you guys, I think I am, but that's fine. Um, that there, that there. Stepper can go on the side, right? It kind of fits in there. And then we have extra pieces of the stepper we can put there. Ooh, I kind of like that. Oh, there it is. I'm like, where's the other piece? There it is. So that's not bad, right? You guys, I kind of like that. Yay! Um, so that's it. We did it. We put the cart together. I think it looks good, right? I think it's organized. I may or may not leave the stepper there. I don't know. I might take it out. We'll see. Uh, it depends how many other things we have. Uh, I do have a bin somewhere with tons of exercise stuff. So we're going to have to figure out what goes here and what doesn't. Um, but the cart's together. I'm happy about that. One more thing off the list. <sighs> that feels good. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope you guys are having an amazing Tuesday. We'll see you guys next time.